Hey guys, Dan here from DanceTube.tv and today I'm starting off my new series which is called Tech Rundown. This is a weekly series where I'll be talking about products, maybe comparing products, discussing just technology in general, and maybe even pointing out something that's coming out in the future that I'm really excited about that potentially other viewers or other people on the internet may want to start a discussion about. So what I decided to do for today's episode is discuss a $2,000 drone, the Mavic Pro, versus a $70 drone. This is what a $70 drone will get you. Now, it does look cheap and yeah, it is pretty cheap, but I mean, this is a pretty decent drone. It's got folding arms here. It actually comes with a decent controller and a accompanying app that you can use to actually see the camera feed, which is a two megapixel camera. So nothing insane, nothing great by any means. But I mean, the fact that you actually get the video feed, that's really important when you're flying. It actually shows you where you're going. And the controller itself is relatively decent. You can actually flip this up here and then you can slot your phone or a tiny tablet on top. Now, when you look at a $2,000 drone, this is the Mavic Pro, the Fly More Edition, so it actually comes with the two batteries. The drone itself is only around 1,600, but the $2,000 combo is really what you want if you are going to use this thing properly. Now, each battery has 27 minutes of flight time. You have a 4K camera on board. You have all these smart processes. You have visual positioning systems. You have obstacle avoidance. You have GPSs locked to the actual, or, or satellites locked to the actual drone itself. And everything is locked in a GPS locked point. You have return to home. You have altitude hold. All of these features and safety precautions that are built into this drone here. And that's why it's more of an expensive drone. Obviously, you're getting the quality. The materials are a lot more, I guess, robust or well designed. Um, they can take a lot more of an impact. And you can actually feel the quality when you use this, especially when it comes to the actually actual folding mechanism which I've used for over 250 successful flights now, and it still folds just as well as it did on the day I actually opened the box up. When it comes to the controllers, these are the two controllers here. Now this is the DJI controller that actually comes up with important flight information here. And then you have the option, or the necessity almost, to pull that down, slot in your phone there, up the antennas and then you've actually got a proper display with your phone actually displaying a lot of the vital information but this little screen here also displays some important information as well where if we're to look at the $70 drone with the cheap controller it's a decent controller you know you've got options for speed you've got a flip option you can actually flip this thing which is kind of crazy um, you have the little holder here for your phone or tiny tablet the power button the usual thumbsticks here which are relatively touchy now i mean it's all over the shop it's kind of hard to control but it is a 70 dollars drone so it's relatively cheap and you're expecting quite a handful when it comes to flying you have the directional pads here stop take off a few options to take pictures and video and it's a very basic controller but the fact that they include it is actually quite nice especially for such a cheap little drone. When it comes to aftermarket care or the app support that's available for these two drones here, the cheaper one and then the Mavic Pro, the Mavic Pro has an amazing support system. So you get regular updates to the drone and regular updates to the actual app itself. So you get firmware updates that come through for the drone itself and that's really easy. It just comes through the application. You have a lot of control and they also actually add lots of new features, which is amazing. They add all these new features aftermarket, and it's really easy to update through the application. Um, and then everything else is just basically run through the app there, and it works really well. Now, when it comes to this bad boy here, it's not as well supported. Now, it's decent, and I mean, the app works. Like, it gives you a video feed, and you have a little bit more control over what the drone actually does itself. But I don't know, it's just not that fantastic. You don't really get too many updates for it and it's basically just, you see it as, as it is. That's just all you're gonna get from now on. Um, otherwise, the drone itself is quite easy to charge um, and when it comes to updating as well, you do that through the app if there are any updates, which I haven't not noticed any so far. Um, this is quite a popular drone though. There's a lot of support, so I'm sure if you actually contacted the company as well, they'd probably help you out. In the bag itself, it comes with you know, additional props and it comes with additional screws and everything. So they've got quite a lot of um, nifty little add-ons that came in the bag itself or in the box itself, which is really handy. With the Mavic, the Fly More Combo, the more expensive one, it does come with additional props and it comes with a few other knickknacks, but you have to buy the Fly More Combo if you want the additional batteries 
and the better charging solution for this bad boy. Now obviously not everyone has the money for a Mavic Pro and maybe not even the want to put that much money into a drone, but maybe you're interested and you want to pick something up relatively cheap. I think this is a good starting point. Now it's quite hard to control, I will have some footage up of me actually trying to control it. It's relatively hard, now don't get me wrong, it's not going to be the easiest flight, it does take a little bit of getting used to and it doesn't have all the safety precautions like this one here, um, but it's a fun little flight, you can even flip it sideways, you can barrel roll, go upside down, it's pretty fun, it's pretty nifty and I'm sure if you got used to it, it would be relatively easy to fly. Um, now in comparison obviously you've got a 2 megapixel camera that is just dodgy footage and it's basically only there, or the camera's only there to give you a video feed while you're flying so you can see what you're doing, where the Mavic has a really awesome 4K camera on it. It's all built in-house from DJI, so you get a solid video and um, solid performance from the drone itself. I definitely think there's a market for a $70 drone. Now, if this is your first drone or if this is a gift for someone, then it's quite a nifty little first drone. It comes with a controller, app support, and a really quite stable drone that can take a few hits. It's got a decent built-in camera, just so you can see where you're flying. You're not gonna be using it for anything professional by any means, um, but just a fun little drone. The lights are really handy in case you're flying later on in the day. Um, everything just works really well on this. I've bumped it so many times and it just keeps working, which is amazing. There is a lot more added into the Mavic. You've got intelligent flight mode. You've got a really awesome flight time, 27 minutes per battery. Um, you've got a top speed of up to 70 kilometers per hour, a 4K camera, all of these safety features and a lot of support from the developer as the drone itself kind of progresses in its lifespan. So a, an amazing drone, really an amazing drone um, with a lot to offer. So this is the higher bracket. This is still kind of within the consumer level, um, but you can kind of call it prosumer, I guess. You can get some nice 4K shots. When you jump up to a Phantom 4 Pro though, you can definitely see the difference in quality and just, yeah, how stable it is, I guess, when it comes to the flight, because it's a lot um, larger, it can handle more hefty wind conditions, um, where the Mavic is a fantastic little starter drone. If you're really looking into, I guess, filming with a drone or maybe starting a video company or something like that or YouTube videos, it is an amazing starting drone. But obviously, the $70 drone is a good gift for maybe Christmas or just a starting point if you don't want to invest that much money. So anyway, there's obviously a lot of benefits to both and yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. Have you picked yourself up a cheap drone? Are you interested in something? What about the Mavic? Would you like to pick one of these up? Or do you have your eyes on the Phantom or the Inspire even? Who knows? Thank you so much for watching though. Let me know what you think of Tech Rundown and this little series here. Yes, thank you so much for watching. Have a splendid day and peace out.